What's up guys, it's Dawn, and today we'll be taking a look at Facebook Dark Mode. Now before I show you this tweak in action, let's go into the settings to see what this tweak provides. The first option we have is the Enable Toggle, so let's go ahead and enable that. The next option we have is the toggle to enable with Noctis. This is basically for those who use the Noctis toggle to turn on and off the dark mode. This tweak will also turn on and off if it's enabled. Enable dark keyboard does what it says. It will give you a dark keyboard to match with the dark mode theme. That's if you don't have another keyboard customizer tweak already installed. At the bottom we have three more options. The first being a theme option where we can pick a theme preset out of the four team provided. Most of these are are dark color themes but there is some bright ones in there for example I think I saw a yellow and a light pink one but they're sort of in the dark side like I said they're all dark to match the dark mode theme the second is an enable toggle to use custom colors and the last one is a tap allowing us to pick those custom colors for the areas of the app this is great if you necessarily aren't going for a dark mode theme but trying to match another one so if we go into the custom color options we have these areas that we can change I have these crazy colors selected for the demo purposes so you can see what is what in the app. The primary color is mostly the body of the app, like the post area and the actual post. The secondary color is the cracks between the post and the area where you can comment. The bar color is obviously the top and bottom bar and your text and icon color is pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and go into the app to see how this looks. So now that we are in our app, you can see the top and bottom bar colors. You can also see the secondary color, which is the event and also the comment section, like I said. The text and color area, it's pretty self-explanatory. You see that. Let's see what else we have here. Actually, that's pretty much it. The primary color is mostly the body, as you can see, on the top bar and the whole entire uh, page, of course. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on what is what and hopefully you get an understanding so you can go ahead and color your Facebook app. So let's go back into the settings. A quick tip I like to give out is that to use the midnight preset to get right into the dark mode theme if that is your goal with this tweak. So we're almost done with the video but we have one last toggle but it isn't for us to mess with. It is mostly for support if you're contacting the developer directly so do not touch this. Some additional information I have to say is that this tweak is supported on all iDevices but do know iPad users, some pages in the Facebook app won't load dark because they are web view pages. Those pages are the about page and the birthday page. This is out of the reach for the tweak Facebook dark mode, but I do recommend a tweak called Illuminator that turns all web pages into a nice dark mode and that will solve your issue. And that is it for Facebook Dark Mode. You can find it for $1.50 on the PackX repo. And I highly recommend it to you guys. It brings a true dark mode for the Facebook app. And if that's not your goal, you also have the option to select your own custom colors. So like that video if you like it. And if you don't, you already know what to do. And if you'd like to see more of my jailbreak tweak videos, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to follow Fox Fort Mobile on Twitter and check out his other tweaks. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.